What's up, guys? So, we got some bad news. It's literally been 24 hours since I did the uh, the Plasti Dip video, the Pearl White. Um, got up this morning, pretty pumped. I'm gonna drive the drive the bike to work. Um, I made it about 0.7 miles and uh, hit a reflector. The back tire popped up and um, took out the fuse and circuit breaker box. Um, and what I mean by that, it ripped it off the fender. Um, bike completely shut off. I was doing about 65 miles an hour. Had to cruise to a stop. Pull off the side of the road. So, so here we are, the aftermath. Basically, this is what was the fuse box. Obviously, it was one piece at one time. Um, I was able to recover one of the 15 amp fuses out of four. And then this is the starter relay that you can now see the inside of. So if anyone's interested in what that was in the internals, there you have it. Uh, basically, the fuse box was mounted or half-ass mounted here. Um, the two bolts either came loose or, shit, I may never put them back in. And either way, it wasn't obviously attached here. It was hanging down a little bit. Um, the tire hit the reflector, popped up. You can see the wires here. It just got destroyed. So, and you can see where the, the tire was rubbing on the actual plastic harness here. This is where the starter relay plugs into. So if anyone has ever done this, um, I'm gonna do a how to fix it. Um, I'm not 100% convinced that replacing the fuses and the starter relay is really gonna fix my problem because the bike just shut off. And what I've heard is the fuses really just are for uh, the lights and running that. So I got a uh, four new 15 amp fuses, the blue one here, and then I've got the uh, a new starter relay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I may try and salvage this box. Doesn't really look promising. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put the fuses in and just see if I can get this thing to start up. And one thing I will note before we begin replacing the uh, fuses or circuit breakers and the uh, starter relay is that at, the, is at this moment in time, when this all went down, it shut the bike off completely. I was doing 65 miles an hour. It just cut off. So I pulled the clutch in, just cruised to a stop. And right now I have nothing. You turn the power on, absolutely nothing. So I don't know if there's a main uh, fuse for the entire bike, uh, but we're just going to start from the basics. I know this shit fell off on the road, so we're going to go ahead and replace and put the thing back to obviously the parts that were there before, and then we'll start diagnosing. All right, so now we're back. <clears throat> I've got the electrical tape uh, kind of half-ass covering all the wires just so they don't make contact with one another. Um, obviously, I will shrink wrap this, but I just want to get this thing back together and see what we're working with. Um, here again are the four circuit breakers, the starter relay. Uh, for the part sizes, what these are, uh, the relay is a standard MCRLY4. That's the starter relay I picked up. And then the uh, each of the circuit breakers, they are MCCBR4s. Um, I paid 13 bucks each for these and then uh, 12 bucks for the starter relay. Actually, no, I didn't. I, I Three of them, it may have been old stock, but three of them came in these boxes. The, they're identical, but these are actually six bucks. Okay. We've got all four of these new circuit breakers plugged in. I don't believe it matters. If you look at the side of them, one side has a, I guess, a bit of a more of a platform than the other one does. I, I don't know if it matters which way they plug in. I'd imagine they're more just like a fuse. Um, it kind of doesn't really matter which way the current's running. Um, so I just stuck them in that way. And then there's the new starter relay that's plugged in. Uh, here's a moment of truth. Let's see what we got going on. Holy shit, I don't believe it. I honestly didn't even think it'd power up. So I turned it on, lights are on. Pull the choke out. Neutral's in. I'm gonna be blown away. 